Hello you lovely people around the world and welcome back to Alcomoto. and again we're in the garage we've got a few things going on at the moment uh, but first thing we're going to talk about is the sticking brake light switch syndrome which is common on the sporty and at the moment my brake lamps are on now we was about to do something else uh, for today's vlog until I realized my brake lamps are on now I had this problem about oh three, four weeks before Scotland and a couple of rides out and the red light on your uh, speedometer, which comes on and tells you there's a BCM fault, uh, which is a common thing. And the majority of the problems when that comes on, most likely is the brake light sticking on. Now I cured that, or temporarily thought I cured that, but what it is, inside the switch, you have a little plastic uh, push button Thing, and there's a, a button over the top of that with two springs and over time it sticks or it can wear down now in my case it's worn down to the fact that you really have to keep pressure on to keep the brake lamps off so I've stripped the switch down and uh, it was hard because where the piece comes out to the switch it was basically it was flush by the time it was switching the brake lamps off so I had to try and raise that now it's a sealed unit so you can't just buy the switch uh, unless you cut the wires and solder it on. So there is a fix for it and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's roll the intro. Okay, so if you come around to the back of the bike, you can see my brake lamps at the moment. I know I've got the switch gear off, which is stuck on, and that's how they've been since uh, playing around with the bike this morning. So, we bring you back up to the switch gear. You can see uh, I've took off, I've had to take the cables off, drop this bottom bit down. There's a little tiny plate that holds the switch gear in place under here. So you have to strip that off, unfortunately. But here's the little bugger itself. This is the brake switch. And you can see now, right on the end of there, I've drilled a tiny hole down the center here. Okay, now what it would have had is a little nipple on the end of that. So if I turn it that way, you can see that it's only just at the end of the plastic housing right to here. Okay, tilt it there, you can just see it. So there's not much room to play with. And that little nipple was only about uh, two millimeter long so of course then what goes in there is this bit this little mushroom head so the little mushroom head if you look at the brake lever there sits up against there and get my hand in like so and just presses on and off so of course when the brake levers off that's forcing forward and pushes the switch in like that and then when you uh, press the brake in that'll come out and then obviously the brake lamps are on so what I've done as I've said you can see I've drilled a small hole just inside here and what we've done is use a little bit of welding wire you can use a thin nail or anything else that'll go just inside and we've cut that to suit okay so what that enables us to do now is push that inside the brake switch. Now we're gonna glue this in. Okay, so it's a two millimeter drill bit. We've drilled inside the plastic. You've gotta be careful not to drill too far in because you'll go inside the switch. You only want it enough so that little bit of nail or wire, whichever you use, keeps everything in place. Okay, so now, get it on this side okay and if we go to the back of the bike okay and they're working better than ever so now when you press that in you can see it's just proud of the recess and that's how you want it. You want that pressure to, from the brake lever to be on that white button head all the time. So it keeps the pressure on, it keeps the lights off. 
So we'll go ahead now and we'll glue that piece in to the mushroom head and then we'll be able to pop that in place when we put the bar assembly back together. Okay, so we've put the switch back into the switch housing. Uh, it's quite difficult to see here, but there is two little torque screws. There's one there and then there's one just at the back. Can we see that? Yep, just there. So there's two tiny torque screws there. And this plastic cover. So underneath that is a plastic cover. So that keeps the switch gear here in place. And then it comes around here and holds in the actual brake switch, which is there. Okay. So just where I'm pointing now, that's the brake switch. See on the other side, there is the mushroom head. And that's glued on there. We put a little bit of glue on the end of it. And the reason being is, is we put a small spring back so it never sticks in. So what you'll see is now it should bring itself forward on the spring tension and take the brake lamps off. Okay, so I hope that was nice and easy to follow. Uh, certainly a quick brake fix it saves the downtime of waiting because apparently I think someone has had this problem before and they were waiting for the backlog of the complete switch or BCM control unit uh, for their bike. So if you've got a problem with your switch and it definitely is when you take that off and it doesn't do anything when you push it in, that has been a fantastic fix for me. So remember, it is possible to fix it over the period of about an hour's work in your garage. So, I hope that you've learned something from this vlog and we'll just give it one more test now while we're with the bike. Okay, so everything's back together now. That's what we like to see, everything's working absolutely fine. Okay, so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Again, hope it helps you solve a problem with your brake lamps in the future. Okay, folks, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed that little vlog and I hope if you come across that problem, it helps you fix the brake lamps on your bike without too much downtime. So, again, if you've enjoyed watching that, so again, stay tuned to Alcomoto for more fixes for your bike uh, when they happen. We've got uh, an install series coming up next week, vlog in the next couple of weeks, installing some Vance and Heinz short shots uh, to another rider's bike, and we'll be doing a remap on that one as well. Uh, but stay tuned because the next vlog coming very, very soon is the remap again for my bike. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to Alcomoto. See you soon.